great uh, accomplishment milestone to be a part of such a great group. Um, just got to keep striving forward and to, to improve where I'm at now. And just to follow up, um, the, the passing game, you, you know, you guys have shown some flashes of, of, of having, a, having a vertical game um, early in the season at different points. Do you think that this, that's the next step for this team is to really beat teams with downfield? Um, the passing game, uh, it's, we're in a great spot. Uh, obviously, Coach uh, likes to util utilize the run very, very well, um, and it's great because give our, our running backs a great chance to make you know a lot of plays. Um, we have a lot of talent on this team, a lot of talent on offense, so it's, it's just hard to find ways to, to utilize everybody. Um, and we're still getting used to that, so uh, hopefully look forward to more passing down the road. But if not, we're just gonna keep trying to win games. That's the most important thing. Going off of that, do you feel like it's like frustrating, like games like last weekend when you can't really show your talents because they're running the ball more? Um, I try not to think about none of that. Um, I'm a team player, so if we get the win, that's great. If we don't, try to come out the, uh, the next week and, and try to improve on something that we didn't uh, do right. How, how do Kasim and Pig complement each other, and what does it bring to the offense when defenses are having to prepare for two different guys? Um, they're both exceptional. They both can run. They both can pass. So, you know, they always uh, is a problem for a lot of defenses. So, just trying to find ways to get them the ball as well is just hard. We have a lot of talent on the team. As the elder statesman on the team and in the wide receiver room, how has your role as a leader for these guys changed in the past couple of years? Um, I mean, I started out as a freshman, so taking heed from the older guys like my brother and uh, Stephon Diggs and all them guys um, just helped me to mold me into the player that I am right now. I'm just kind of giving the knowledge to them what I know, and and that's just trying to put in the extra work after practice. As you can see, they they still out here. We we always catch out of practice and do stuff. Uh, just to try to improve our game in any way possible. So we're ready for whenever whenever it comes to us. Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the DC Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. Canada said he wants to get receivers the ball more. What ways can that happen? Maybe wider receiver screens or more jet sweeps or how do you guys? I mean, honestly, honestly, I don't know. I can't tell you that. Um, we're just going to continue to to do our job and and whatever that may be to help the team win. In, in terms of what you guys learned from the Temple game a few weeks ago, when you had you came in as you know, big favorites, this week you're coming in as even bigger favorites. Um, what, what is what does a team like this have to learn from that experience? Going in Temple and then having its worst game. Um, Rutgers is a great team. Temple is a great team. So we're gonna go out there and compete with those guys, and and hopefully they bring the A game. We bring our A game, and it's a great show for the fans. It's a little bit extra for you guys that went to Rutgers last year. You guys lost. Is there maybe a little redemption at home on a homecoming uh, game? Because I don't know how to get away this time. Um, like I said, I mean they're a great team. And, and hopefully we show that we're a great team too. So we just go out there and compete and have a, a great day for the fans. Does it does it make a difference to you guys um, if it's a full if there are, if there are 50,000 people in the stadium or 30,000 people in the stadium or or 100,000 people in the stadium rooting against you as it was last week? Uh, no, it don't really matter um, as long as we go out there together, do our job, and execute and. Come, to, come away with the victory. That's all, that's all that really matters. So you're not paying attention to what's going on? Uh, I mean, it is always great to have that there, have the support um, from your family, friends, peers, all things like that. But at the end of the day, we got to focus on, on, our, on our group and, and, go out, and go out there and try to get a uh, victory. Coach Canada told us this morning how his offense has changed over the years. How have you adjusted to his his offense and that? Have you ever played in something like it with all the motions? Um, no, I haven't played in, a, in an offense like this with all the motions. I played in an offense like this, like conceptual-wise, uh, Coach uh, Mike Loxley. Um, offense was similar in that way, but not with all the motions and stuff like that. So it, it was kind of new for me. Um, but I adjusted pretty well because I was familiar with the type of offense that he run. Um, so just implementing that, the motions and things like that into, the, into my game was just another way for me to try and prove my, my game. So. You, got to, you got to be around DJ Moore, the Panthers, and the Diggs. What are the things that you picked up from those guys? Well, honestly, DJ probably picked up some things from me because I'm older than him. I'm older than him, so I had a lot of stuff to teach him as well. 
when he first came in. Um, so it, it's always great to uh, be around guys like that, though, that like to compete and, and like to go out there and try to give it everything they got, you know. And it, it improves you and make you want to go harder. So that, that's always good. Um, so hopefully I can just, you know, improve my game and, and showcase what I can to everybody. What has your brother told you about your last, what, what your last year in college was going to be like? Just have fun. No matter what happens, you can't control everything, just go have fun. That's something you can't control.